And welcome to Chabayesh, Iraq. This marshlands. Chai, 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 chai. Salam. Nice to meet Hello. The famous, the famous marsh Arab. I, 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 I go to London and you stay here. <laughs> Most famous of the marsh Arabs. What's up? What's up? Good morning and welcome to Chabayesh, Iraq, here on the banks of the great Euphrates River. From Nazariah we took about a one hour drive further south and we have made it to the jump off point for the Iraqi marshes. We're going to go and meet the marsh Arabs. I'm incredibly excited. It's a little bit cold. It's possibly going to rain. Let's do it. The Iraqi marshes. And that is what we are going to be looking like soon, hopefully. I think the uh, the mysterious clouds and the little bit of rain add to this um, to this marshlands, to the swamplands. I'm really excited. This was one of the things that we really wanted to do when we came to Iraq. And we're going to do it. We are. <laughs> we're in a tiny little village in the middle of nowhere. And we are just checking out a Madif, which is a like a traditional guest house that they would use for sheikhs and like royalties. It was quite expensive to build, made from straw, um, and it just sits on the banks of the Euphrates. I mean, what a guest house. Look at this. It is so impressive. How have they made it out of straw? You wouldn't think it's made out of straw. It's quite like a sturdy structure. Um, we've taken our shoes off and we get to come in and you would not believe the inside it's so so big it's kind of warm in here considering it's quite chilly outside this keeps you warm there's a slight through breeze and look at the views down the end this is so impressive these golden reed houses actually date back to the Samaran era they are thousands of years old and they have kept up the traditions that's one of the things I love about Iraq so many of the traditions have been kept I think a lot in the UK, we've lost so many of our traditions, but you come here and you can still live on a reed house on the banks <laughs> of the Euphrates River, only in Iraq. We have teamed up with Skyscanner to bring you our top travel tips. Travelling full time for the last few years means hopefully we know what we're talking about. We have used Skyscanner for every flight that we have booked as it is a world travel engine finding you the best deals on hotels, flights and much more. The very first travel tip that we have for you is to take photos. Now we know necessarily that this is not a travel tip but we think it is so important to capture those amazing travel memories. The second tip that we have is to not be afraid of street food. <laughs> Lots of people are but street food is often the best way to learn about the culture and the country. Make sure you look for busy vendors or stalls. It's often where the local hangout is. Uh, street food is delicious and cheaper too so it is a win-win. Our third and final tip would be to be flexible and use Skyscanner when booking and planning your trips. You can actually use the Explore Everywhere button on the Skyscanner website Website and it will bring up lots of different random destinations for you in order of the cheapest so you can save money whilst bagging yourself a spontaneous trip. A massive thank you to our long-term partner Skyscanner and let's get back to the video. This is like the sort of thing you could find on like Airbnb you know it's like a unique guest house kind of like luxury. I think you can stay in some. That would be really, really cool. You've got like all the palm trees around and like I said, you're on the banks of the river. This just makes me more excited to jump on our boat and explore with the marsh Arabs. And there are <clears throat> some professional guys. Oh, that can make yeah, these not, now? Not anybody can build like, like So yeah. is it just the, the marsh Arabs that can do this? Yeah, yeah. A marsh Arab and there are some professional, some four That have or, trained or five, to do yeah. it now. Yeah. We actually have a special visit from the Sheikh that... Um, owns this how incredible is this i've had to i was about to pour some fake tea i don't know do you do you shake hands i'm not is that sure a joke? oh chai 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 chai
هلا the famous the famous marsh this is our boat that is going to be taking us along the river Euphrates um, and through the marshes. I'm very excited. It has started to rain a little bit though, which is always our luck. See how fast he ran across there. I would definitely fall in. <laughs> It's oh, but then, how old, how old? To London. Is I go to London and you stay here. <laughs> Masalama. 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 After about a five minute ride, we have made it into the marshes. I'm going to keep changing between the main camera and the GoPro because the weather just can't make its mind up. But these are actually the flood plains from the Euphrates and the Tigris River. Molly! <laughs> oh my God, we're in the marshes! This is so much fun. Salam! Hi! Salam! Salam! <laughs> There's so many marsh Arabs. Oh my God, and everybody's so friendly. Salam! 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 Thank you. <laughs> Shukran. He's got the same jacket as you, Matt. <laughs> Amazing. Shukran Habibi. We have a little bit of a convoy. Salam, my friends. I don't know what you're saying, but salam. From London, London. Shway, shway, my Arabic shway, shway. Masalama. I have no idea what they are saying, but this behind me is the legend, the most famous of the Marsh Arabs. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to Iraq. sing better than me, he has a better beard than me, he can ride, he, a, boat. He can ride a boat better than me. <laughs> I feel like I might as well just jump in. Salam! That's crazy, you can see how they still live like that to this very day. You can even see kingfishers, you've got some ducks and you have some... Occasional buffalo. water buffalo. <laughs> this is a sightseeing tour. We have swapped seats and now I am the Habibi. No Habibi! <laughs> no Habibi! <laughs> it is starting to get extremely narrow through here. We've just stopped off and these right behind me are the other inhabitants of the marshes. Giant! water buffalo and this one with the blonde hair 
He is staring me out right now. It's okay. He, he, can you see that? He is staring, he's evil. We have just pulled up at, oh, let me get out. One of the Madif, the traditional guest house, the traditional homes here in the marshes. Be careful, there's a lot of buffalo poo. We're being summoned. Um, this is crazy. We've just literally pulled up and intruded. Hi. Hello. Salam. 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 How are you? Salam. This is so yeah. cool. Wow. What? House. 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 Baby. <laughs> yeah. Where do we go? This way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm touching the real, the real part of their house that they've made by hand. I think they use this like when they go on the river, right? They go on the river and they come here for lunch or shelter. They don't actually stay in here, but this is what you would have stayed in thousands of years ago. This is actually a container that you can put your food in. So you can put like dates and things in here. Um, everything is made from this. It's like literally the holy grail of the marshes. So unfortunately in 1991, Saddam Hussein drained the majority of the marshes to punish the marsh Arabs for taking part in the protests against him, the Iraqi uprisings. And because of this, so many of them were displaced. They went to Iran, they went to the UK, they went to all different countries. And obviously once he lost power and he was removed, they came back. But they think there's only around 10% of what was here in the wetlands before. <laughs> He's attacking me! <laughs> Majnun! <laughs> Masalama! Shukran! That was so cool and I now have a either a walking stick, a flute or a weapon to travel with me throughout the marshes. And we're off! Yalla yalla! Yalla empty! Yalla. And we are back on dry land. Oh. Shukran Habibi. Habibi. The legend, the man himself. This has been by far my highlight of Iraq. So if you're coming to Iraq, come to the marshes and ask. Abu Haida. Abu Haida. Habibi. He has stolen Molly from me. So uh, be careful Hi, with Habibi. your girlfriends. <laughs> Habibi. Legend. Shukran. Cool. Habibi. Habibi. We thought it was goodbye, but Abu Haider has invited us to his house for chai. I think you just get invited for chai everywhere. We're going inside Abu Haider's house now. This is so cool. Wow! So grand, thank you. It's beautiful. Hi. Salam. Hello. Oh, no. no. Molly, yeah. Ah, Habibi. Habibi. <laughs> You are now his new wife. I have a stick. Habibi. Haida. Habibi. She has a knife. Run. <laughs> Saha. Saha. Cheers. Cheers. Saha. Lovely tea. Mm. Tayeb. Tayeb. Good tea. I think that means good tea. Tayeb? Something like that. Um, we feel very lucky right now to be invited into Abu Haida's and we've home done a wife to drink swap. tea. And we've done a I'm wife now with swap. Abu Haida's this wife. is my Habibi and uh, Abu Haida ah, has Habibi. Abu Haida Habibi. Yeah. My Habibi, Matt has his own Habibi. Ma, ma, Habibi. Yeah. Shukran. Habibi. Shukran Habibi. Next time. Masalama. Habibi. 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 Masalama. Shukran. Shukran. Habibi. He was the craziest person ever. And it was so much fun. But now it's time for lunch on the river. Shukran. This is nice. Lunch on the river. We've found Z. There Z he went is. missing on the marsh. But he couldn't be trusted. <laughs> there was a good chance that Z would fall in and ruin his beautiful, smart suit. So we had to leave him on dry land. And we've come back and we have got some bread with all different types of rices. We've got some beans. red rice. That's we've got nice. some beans. For we've got everything. Some everything. Everything. Different is covered. kind. Right. <laughs> He's had too much chai while we're <laughs> on the marshes. And all of this restaurant is actually decorated with photos of the marshes. And I even think they've got a photo that they've drawn of Abu Haida. We also have some different kind of like soups, I suppose you could say. We have beans, we have potatoes. And this one? Sebzi. 
Sebzi, what's that? Sebzi is from uh, vegetable. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Is it yes. like okra or something? Papaya, papaya. Yes. Papaya, it looks like spinach. Mm. Yeah, that's spinach. We'll get, it's like spinach. Mm. spinach. Kale, spinach type thing. Oh. With the mm. rice, is it good? Mmm, really nice. It's kind of like a... It's like a curry. Curry, yeah. Like a spinach and bean curry. This first and the second. <coughs> Maybe another one. <laughs> so that should be the season. It's cool! <laughs> The sun has finally decided to rear its head. Of course, it comes out as we're about to leave. But lunch there was 6,000 dinar for all that food and two more chai and about 10 chai for Z because he's absolutely obsessed with it. But just look at this. In the summer, you can come here. You can sit on the balcony, look out at the Euphrates. Unbelievable. But we now have around, I think, about a two-hour drive further south to the city, the famous city of Basra. Shukran Habibi. Habibi. Thank you very much. Shukran. Thank you. Three hour drive later and we have made it. Welcome to Basra, the second city of Iraq. On the way, we actually stopped off and Z showed us where the two main rivers of the country meet. You know two river here in Iraq. One Tigris is coming from Baghdad. I want it, and Euphrates is coming from uh, uh, Nazaria, coming from uh, Hill, Bab Baghdad, from Ramadi, from this command is from Syrian. Okay, I'm meeting together here from Shat al Arab. You see that one? That one? Shat al Arab. I think the distance when you go Shat al Arab is about 100 kilometers. After that, Shat al Arab. Go to Arabian Gulf. There you have it, the Euphrates right there. Tigris right there. And then they meet in the middle, right there. I don't think I've ever seen two great rivers meeting before. Maybe I have, but it's new to me. And getting in was incredibly easy. There was pretty much no checkpoints. The further south you go in Iraq, you'll find the checkpoints and the military are actually pretty few and far between. But what a day, the man, the myth, the legend, Abu Haida, the man with 16 children and three wives. And he has his eye, <laughs> he has his eye on Molly. If you are gonna do anything in the country, make sure you check out the Iraqi marshes. By far the highlight of the trip so far. But again, this couldn't have been made possible without our friends at Al Rafidain. If you are coming to Iraq, I would highly recommend Especially if it is your first time doing a tour, it helps so much with the checkpoints. It also helps just going to restaurants because English isn't widely spoken yet. So they sort out everything. Z and Haytham have been amazing. And our Rafidain have actually let us stay in their room behind their office in Basra. So this, these two beds, <laughs> is us for the night because the city is actually hosting a football competition and all hotels are sold out. So they have been absolute lifesavers, the best tour company in the country. Bye, Mile, but we'll see you in the next one to explore the jewel of the south of Iraq, Basra.